Candace. I'm a WCC student. Mr. Agnew is his name, and he tells what we call him. Very great, very great guy. Very sweet, loving. I wanted to show them that someone concerned about them. Right on, sisters. Right on. You want to come? Come, 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 come. Come here, come. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm Sister Mary Judith. I'm a student here, um, and I, we see Yazelle every day, and he always has a smile, no matter what the weather is, if it's raining or if it's cold. He's always smiling and praising God for whatever weather he gets, and he's, he's kind of the sun here, and the sun never sets. So, yeah. <laughs> Sweet it is. Amen. So. Amen. Uh -huh. Well, I talk to the kids about different things. Love your parents. Obey your parents. And as you obey them, you will receive. Whatever your parents tell you to do, do it well. Well, I try to eat the word of the Lord each and every day. But natural food, I love my beans and cornbread. Amen. And that, that, no, that not no canned food, neither. That's a homemade cooked food. Amen. Soul food. <laughs> Hi, my name is Arnett Chisholm. I'm a counselor at Washtenaw Community College, and I've been here for 19 years on Halloween. Uh, something I can say about Ezel is that he was one of the first people I met when I first walked on campus, and he stopped me and started asking me, you know, was I working here? And then he congratulated me and welcomed me here and told me if there was anything he could do to help me, he'd be more than happy. One thing that I can say about him, probably everybody on campus would say that he would be the campus greeter because he basically speaks to everybody. You know, he's very happy that they're here and he feels that his, his part in making people successful here is uh, making sure the campus looks the way it does. And he really takes pride in his job. We all enjoy him, we all love him here and um, he does a great job at, at the things that he does here to help beautify the campus. Um, I often stop and talk to him just because uh, we have attended some of the same churches and you know we have a lot of things to say about you know different things that go on here at the campus but you know I just like to say um, Ezel's a, a good friend of mine I've known him for a long time and from day one that I came here I can't say that he has changed one bit he always speaks to me every morning uh, he speaks to everybody and Every day is a beautiful day to him. Even when it's pouring down raining or if it's snowing, he swears that it's a beautiful day. And sometimes I just can't agree with him on those certain days. But i uh, just like to say, you know, he's one of the greatest guys that have uh, ever been employed at Washington Community College. I'm, I'm serious about it. I am happy. And I'm not just talking either. You think that some people might think you're a little crazy? Well, some people are going to think that. You know, because lots of people come from a different location. They're not used to it. You know, because they've been taught not to be too friendly. And I don't blame them one bit. Because there's so many sick people out here. We can hear the news and we can see it on the news. Well, you don't trust nobody. You know? And sometimes you don't even trust yourself. Amen? Some come here put me in for the position here. And when they come here, they say, I want you to pray, I'm going to a test. They're not only students in that factory also to get a job here at WCC, you know? And when I get back, when I come back, you know what they come back and tell me? Say, you know, your prayer will answer. I got the job. I say, if you got the job, make good of it. I believe in Hard. He didn't, I always use this word. He didn't know such a thing hard work though. Hard work coming from a person that don't want to work. That's when they come to see that his heart because their mind is not made up. No, nothing is hard. That's the same way when you're driving, learn how to drive an automobile. When you don't know how to drive an automobile, you hold it with two, two hands, fighting the stern wheel. But when you catch on, you can stir it with two fingers now. Say, oh, I thought it was hard, but now it's not hard. You see my point? That's the point of life. We got to know what we say, you know? Amen. That would lots of people say, the man is working hard. He ain't no such a thing working hard. You got to love it. So, so I'm serious about it. And that's well, I want to say on my two songs, yeah. well, 
what could I say? If I, God called me away, I want to be able to say, he was a good sermon. He was a good worker at WCC, and he know how to treat peoples at WCC when he was around. I'm intention being this be my last, this will be the job that when I leave from here, I'm not looking for nothing else. I'm going to be rocking around in the rocking chair until God called me away. I am so proud to be in here at the beginning and up to now. I'm proud of it. I'm not here to put on no act. I'm not here to put on no show, but I want them to come to me and be proud of coming to me, and I can go to them and be proud to go to them. That's why we come to be a helper one to another, one without the book and one with the book.